Whenever people talk about Cyprus, the first thing that comes to mind is Hellim. For centuries, it has been an indispensable product of Cypriot cuisine, and nowadays it has also become the most important topic of discussions at the political table. In fact, Hellim has been included in the UN-led peace talks in Cyprus. Apart from being a food substance and cultural product, it has now become an issue of the country. Bu yaşımıza kadar hellimin e, lezzetini alarak e, gelmiş bulunmaktayız. Bugünden sonra hellimsiz bir hayatı düşünemem. Hellim e, sadece Rumlara ait bir şey değil diyor. Yani buna sahip çıkmalı. E, hellimden ben vazgeçemem aslında. Hellim bizim kültürümüzün bir parçası. E, vallahi hellim vazgeçilmezimiz bizim Kıbrıs'ta. Both the historical and archaeological studies have shown that the history of Hellim dates back a thousand years. Floria Buster, in his writings in 1554, talked about a cheese called kalumi that was produced in Cyprus for centuries. The matured helim, once sorted and preserved in the water it was cooked in, held a fundamental role in the diet of Cypriots during old times when refrigerators were not available. Neredeyse üç öğüne hellim yeriz, hellim evet. tükediriz. Çünkü sabah kahvaltıda muhakkak hellim vardır. Hellimsiz hiçbir şey yemem. Sabah kahvaltıda, börekleri de, makarnada. Yani kullanabilen her yerde hellim yerim. Hellimsiz bir şey düşünemiyorum. Örneğin sabah kahvaltısında, sandviçlerde, makarnada, makarna kesinlikle. Ne süre, ne koyacaksın ki? Apart from meeting our dietary needs, Hellim production was a source of solidarity, cooperation and socializing among the women of the village. Ya annem yapardı, ben de uzun zaman yaptım. Ne yaptın? Kendi hellimimi yaptım köydeyken. Eee koyunlarımız süt falan vardı. Hellim yapmasını biliyorum, yaptım da. Hellim with its white color and unique texture is a salty dairy product. It is made of a combination of sheep goats and cow's milk or solely from either sheep's or goat's milk. The animals feed on plants and endemic flowers growing in Cyprus's habitat, which is the source of the unique flavor and aroma of the milk used to make hellim. Fresh milk, yeast and salt are the key ingredients of hellim. Kıbrıs Türk halkı olarak yüzyıllardır Kalavaç köyünde hellimi yaptık ve yapmaya da devam edeceğiz. Yani torundan toruna da bu iş gidiyor ve en büyük gelir kaynağımız ve en büyük besin değerimiz hellimdir. Her Kıbrıs'ın evinde vardır ve kullanmaktadır. Hellim bizim her şeyimizdir, canımızdır. Yani her gün sabah hellim yemezsek olamaz. Hellim vazgeçilmez bir şeydir. Yani hellim her türlü şeyde kullandığımız yani kızartarak da yerik, efendime söyleyeyim kebabını yapar yerik, e, magarına rendelerik. Dediğim gibi kahvaltıda her türlü her türlü meze yapılır. Meze yapılır. Yani vazgeçilmez bir şeydir ülkemizde. Tamamen Kıbrıs'tan özdeşleşmiş bir ürün bence hellim. In order to meet the needs of the Turkish Cypriot people who consume such a large amount of hellim and with the aim of contributing to the economic and existing struggle waged in Cyprus, a cooperative milk factory was established in the village of Eylence in 1958. Even though this factory made financial losses until 1969, it was later handed over to the Cyprus Turkish Cooperative Bank with the decision of the Cyprus Turkish administration of the time. Due to this transition by taking all producers and consumers' interests into consideration, together with using modern business practices, the factory became a modern enterprise. Even during the years of war and restricted living conditions, the production of Helim continued, not only in the common household, but also in factories, as a mass production for purposes of trade, using modern equipment with traditional techniques. Moreover, during those years, Hellim was exported to countries such as the UK, Lebanon, Libya and the US. A considerable amount was also sold to the Greek Cypriot market. Today, both in rural areas and in the cities, there are a number of dairy factories which continue to produce Hellim in the traditional way.
Helim is the leading export products with 30 million dollars. 25% of the total Turkish North Cyprus export is Helim and 17% of our population is dependent upon Helim production, including farmers, meat processors, veterinarians, and etc. In parallel to general consumption, Helim is being exported to a variety of countries around the world and contributing greatly to the Turkish Cypriot economy. When looking at the total export figures, Helim has a graph that continues to rise. According to 2014 statistics, it is the highest exported dairy product in Cyprus. Overall, it constitutes around 24% of the total exports of the country. There are over 50 producers of Helim in North Cyprus, varying sizes. More than 50% of the total milk produced in North Cyprus is used to produce Helim. Within the framework of agricultural policies practiced throughout the years, the production of raw milk, which was around 30 million litres in 1995, has increased to 140 million litres in 2014. Nearly 50% of the raw milk product is being used in Helim production. Helim's unique flavour has earned itself a distinctive place within the world dining sector, sold in many places as a gourmet cheese. Helim is a widespread and well-known product in world markets, especially in Arab and Gulf countries. In 2008, in order to protect the traditional character of Helim, increase its trade value and protect its name and to prevent others imitating its production, a regulation to protect Helim's geographical origin and trademark was introduced. Following this development, the Cyprus Turkish Chamber of Industry and Helim producers, following extensive research, prepared a dossier on the registration of the protection of the designation of the origin of Helim and filed an application to the relevant body of the regulation. As a result, Helim or Helumi became a registered protected designation of the origin product in North Cyprus. With this, the quality and the characteristics of Helim was brought under the protection in Cyprus, the geography which defines its natural and humanistic aspects. Kıbrıs Türkünün var olmasının yegane sebeplerinden bir tanesi de Helim'dir. Buna sahip çıkalım. Toplum olarak sahip çıkalım, devlet olarak sahip çıkalım, halk olarak sahip çıkalım. Kıbrıs Türk olarak sahip çıkalım. Helimsiz olmaz yani. Helimin önemi çok. En iyi çayımızdır o. Hereafter, with the aim of exporting the highest quality Helim product to Turkey, which is the largest export market for North Cyprus, an application was made to the Turkish Patent Institution and following a year-long detailed examination, Helim was also registered in Turkey as a product belonging to the island of Cyprus. The Helim Monitoring Council was established with the aim of ensuring that Helim is produced in line with its registration. Helim Inspection Board is a formation comprised of the NGO representatives of the following organizations Cyprus Turkish Chamber of Industry, Animal Husbandry and Breeders Association, Milk Processors Association, Veterinary, Veterinary Surgeon Union, Food Engineers Association, an independent lawyer, and two experts inspecting the production. Together with the representatives of the NGOs, we inspected the production since 2008. Recently, with the aim of gaining the necessary accreditation in accordance with EU regulations, the Auditing Council has attained the right to receive funds within the framework of a Turkish Cypriot grant programme. Up until now, everything seems to be running smoothly.
The unilateral initiatives launched by the Greek Cypriot side to register Helim at the European Union under the name of Halloumi is a concrete example of the political efforts carried out by the Greek Cypriot side for decades with a view to assert their claim as the sole authority on the island and has therefore made the cultural issue of production of local cheese into an issue of political dispute. The first protected designation of origin application process started unilaterally by the Greek Cypriot authorities, where Turkish Cypriot producers were deliberately excluded in 2007. When we examined the first application, we have seen that firstly only Halimi was included and the Turkish word Halim was not included. Uh, secondly, there was the problem on inspection in the northern part of the island. And lastly, there were some problems on the technical issues. Along with Halim and Halloumi producers, Cyprus Turkish Chamber of Industry has fi filed in uh, objections to Greek Cypriots uh, stating that they were application were unilateral and which excluded Turkish Cypriots. Turkish Cypriot Helim producers rightfully objected to the efforts that are being exerted by the Greek Cypriot side on the Helim issue. They filed a lawsuit at the Greek Cypriot courts and by informing the European Commission, they enabled the Commission to take action on the issue. The process came to a different turnout when the European Commission has asked questions which led to Greek Cypriot authorities to withdraw their protected designation of origin application. The questions were mainly on the inspection issue in the northern part of the island and also on the technical issues which focused on the mic ratios in Halim, Halimi production and other issues. Therefore, our extensive lobbying activities carried out at political levels were effective at the EU institution. By the end of November 2012, Greek Cypriot authorities relaunched their Halloumi PDO application and unfortunately and again the process was unilateral and did not include the Turkish Cypriot. This time, different than the first application, Halim, the Turkish word for Halloumi was included. However, Turkish Cypriots were again deliberately omitted on the inspection issue uh, with regard to the in the northern part of the island. When the PD application was again on the agenda, we alerted our authorities and especially our presidency so that this issue could be raised on the United Nations Technical Committee. Unfortunately, we have seen our efforts go in vain due to irreconcilable attitudes toward our cultural common products by the Greek Cypriot officials. Cyprus Turkey Chamber of Industry is representing the Hellim producers in the North Cyprus. The Greek Ministry of Agriculture cannot be the competent authority to inspect the production in North Cyprus. We will never accept that. Just like in the initial application filed by Greek Cypriots, Turkish Cypriot Hellim producers did not remain indifferent to the issue and reacted by filing a case in the relevant Greek Cypriot courts on issues which they have merits. However, in line with the ongoing practice of the Greek Cypriot courts since 1974, all cases filed by Turkish Cypriot producers were dismissed. Despite all of our objections, the Greek Cypriot side, without paying attention to the views of the Turkish Cypriots, filed their second application at the European Commission on the 9th of July 2014. Uh, our objection process is continuing legally both within Cyprus and within European Union. On the topics which has immense effect on our community and economy, we believe you cannot get any result unless you consume all the legal aspects. In this sense, we give great importance on protection of our cultural and economic products in any terms and especially legally. If the Greek Cypriot government eventually manages to take the PDO of Helim Halloumi without including a properly functioning control mechanism in the North Cyprus, the Turkish Cypriot producers will not be able to use the name Helim or Halloumi on their products. This will mean a total disaster to our economy where our expert exports will almost be stopped. This is unacceptable for us and we will never stop working until we find a constructive solution to this problem. It is our primary duty to protect our rights and claims over this product which leads the economy of the Turkish Cypriots and also holds an extensive place in our culture and diet. It is our essential duty to stand up to the efforts of the Greek Cypriots to prevent their authority both over our economy and on issues relating to the north of the island. Due to the cultural and economic importance it holds for us, 
until we succeed to protect it and hand it down in its original form to future generations, Helim will continue to be an issue for us. Helim, bence, yani nasıl diyeyim? İnsanın damarlarındaki kan. Bugünden sonra Helimsiz bir hayatı düşünemem. Helimsiz bir Kıbrıs'ı düşünemem ben. Helim Kıbrıs özgü bir yiyecektir çünkü. Bizim de e, ürettiğimiz, e, yaptığımız bir üründür. Asla olmazsa olmaz. Olmazsa olmaz.